Greetings everyone, and Great here for another Couple Heroes 2 replay. Straight from Live Games Lolly. Spawn on the left side as the blue OPW player, we have a four name. Spawn on the right side as the red US player, we have Eternal Sunshine of Spotel's Mine. Oh, whoops, I just realized something as well. I forgot to switch to the Couple Heroes 2 layout. Good thing this was the first replay of the day. And there we go. I had my uh, Age of Empires 2 layout uh, active. There you go. I'm in a better spot now. Not floating in the sky. Oh, that's where we are right now. The camera floating in the sky, staring it down at all the men running around. We do have, looks like a relatively common opener, Kovagan to Volkskundirs. Just got a rifleman for the US player. The US player selected a less common doctrine, the Urban Assault Company. So you can access to some rifle grenade and or rangers and a dozer blades and or calliopes and or smoke raining down from the sky. For the OKW player, he has a handful of doctrines he could select. We've got the Lofoff Ground Forces, Overwatch Doctrine, and the Grand Offensive Doctrine. You also got a secondary rear echelon being blown field, so he may be eyeing for the rifle grenade research. At least times two. If the Okada player sees the rear echelon, second rear echelon squad, I suppose he does not know what doctrine he will be selected, but once he's uh, rear echelon squads upgraded to something that's not a minesweeper, then he may want to pull out some landmines and declare his, the land as mine. Yeah. Uh, Shun Pioneer's team double team here causes some issues. Rear echelon squad trying to advance way forward. Kovakin hitting this rifle squad negative ground, Volkswagen is pretty forward, Stone Pioneer squad does fall back, not getting a whole lot of damage on these rifle squad. Heavy cover was being very useful there. Apparently pretty useful in most situations, unless they're getting hit by a flamethrower. Rifle squad gets behind some good heavy cover there, rifle squad gets behind no heavy cover there. Of course this hay bale can be used for heavy cover. A little bit wounded, so we'll take a bit of damage from the Kuvagen. A couple losses, perhaps. Put those back on off. I do hear. I thought I heard a bit of wire. Rearsh or Rearshlon squad does put a bit of wire around that hay. So do the Shum Pioneers. There is four windows inside, so that's a good position for the Volksuniers to gauge the rear echelon, but there's only one window on this side, so it's not good from this angle. If the rifle squads would advance for the heavy cover, they should be in range, and heavy cover is better than garrison cover, plus one guy versus five is a very diff big difference. Third rifle squad has been pulled in the field, rear echelon squad pulling out some more wire. Not only that, I've got two Volkswagen he has selected the Overwatch Doctrine so he has access to some Jaeger light infantry. That'd be a good unit to deploy on the field. I'll say times two would be a good number. A large number of these rifle squads are wounded. He may want to get out ambulance before going for anything else. He does need to take a model drop there as well. More wire deployed by the rear echelon, up north with the rear echelon squad, engaged the Shum Pioneers. Usually Shum Pioneers win that fight handily, but look at that, they're half health. Less than half health. Even though they have all the members there, the rear echelon squad does take some pretty big losses there, they do fall back in time. All three drive squads in this region, no ambulance on the build queue, no lieutenant, captain almost on the build, or almost deployed in the field. He may I for hmm, maybe pack house just wouldn't be half bad. A capture point is being overrun. He will have access to an AT gun if he so chooses. He is not seeing what Doctrine's opponent's gone for. When he sees the Jaeger Light Infantry, he will. I don't think Overwatch Doctrine was one of the possible points. doctrines on his uh, card or on his uh deck. Deck. Man. Selection. Let's go with that. He's going for an ambulance. He could use the captain to supervise his... Oh, perfect. He's using the captain to supervise production. Does he need that medic ambulance sooner rather than later? Because these guys are coming back. They will reach the base sooner. He needs to keep this four-man squad here. Three-man squad needs healed up. But this four-man squad could push forward quicker. And there is all the blood transfusions they need.
folks are near us get behind some good light cover. Which is not necessarily good, but it's better than nothing. Sandbags can plot out there. I think it would be a good idea to go for a second Jaeger Light Infantry, but he's on... Does have a bit of a lengthy cooldown. Got one set of rifle grenades. This one's been upgraded for rifle grenades as well. Now you see some rifle grenades, so he knows what Doctrine's opponent's gone for. And that Stream Pioneer is wounded. He does have a course of Battle Group HQ. That's pretty much standard. He has medics and going for a flat half track. His bone has gone for captain, so a quick M1 AT gun could be very useful. Or any sort of AT gun would be useful, whether it be quick or slow. His captain, of course, is on the field. We're losing a capture point. Captain's going south for the winter. Rifle squad gets behind some good heavy cover there. Jaeger infantry, the scope rifle has less accuracy at close range than long range. If I remember correctly as well, the max, the long range accuracy for scope rifle is like 1.15, and close range is like 0.9. The scope rifle is pretty accurate; it just has a pretty long cooldown. Black half track pushed away forward. Grenade's been thrown. One round, suppresses down the rifleman. Of course, he does not have access to the uh, intake rifle grenade because he needs the HQ upgraded, which he is not. Rifle squad deployed. Get behind some good heavy cover there. Rear trying to deploy a bit more wire. There's heavy cover there for them as well. They may want to get behind it. He's going to start falling on back. Rifle grenade there. Late response. Gets a good splash. Folks going there is eyeing for incendiary grenade and heavy cover. Very good. Yeagle Lime Tree only gets splashed a little bit. Rifle squad in full retreat. Reachelon squad is close to getting 2 people. He fires one rifle grenade. Ignites the casualty. As so well, he is dead. Howdy. Let's see. Good evening, Angrade. How's it going? It's going good. I was waiting on your computer to stream for one week. Finally, time has come. Yes. Unit ready. <clears throat> Sorry, I sort of parked the uh, howdy. Uh, Stream Pioneers, we had some good heavy cover. Rap Squad does get inside the garrison. Three guys versus three guys. Garrison cover is worse than heavy cover. But of course, Stone Pioneer is more of a close range squad and a mid range squad than a long range squad. But it looks like the Stone Pioneers are winning the fight. This guy is firing away as well, so all four guys are firing. Just firing one bullet per magazine. He must be from New York. G43 upgrade complete. I suppose not New York's quality inaccurate. It's definitely California. Traditional squad does fall back there. Got a good defensive line over here. AE half track now advancing. Does not get a burst off there. Stone Pioneer is now falling back and does get a full Your wipe there. Just some of our the Shun Pioneer must have got a pretty good number of wounded models there, allowing the scope rifle to start picking them off. I hear a player. Oh. Rifle grenade from the rear echelon. That's what I heard. I don't know why. I hear that when I hear that sound effect, even though the rifle grenade is probably the thing that you probably most associate with that sound effect. Whether it be from Grenadiers or from the rear echelon. I don't know why, I've just been associating it recently with the rifle flares. Wagon backing slowly, flat cap track in this region. 
But we've got two A vehicles in the field. The US player going from the A half track is probably good, assuming he keeps it alive, because he does have to worry about sector assault. If I can't work for gets a good shot down the A half track. Nice uh flare trap. There's my flare. Or A flare. And now the rocket squad does fall back. <laughs> Alright, for grenade there, Volkswagen is pretty forward. We can work for see some damage. Does receive a spicy pineapple. And looks like these grenade or rear shot squad is just rotating around. They're getting overran. So they probably should fall back sooner rather than later, because they're not going to accomplish them much. Maybe fire off one rifle grenade before falling back. The rifle grenade sound is a really sad sound. Eh, I think it's the job done. It's unique enough that you know something's being launched. It is something to ease the pick out in the fog of war. Whether it be the high explosive or flare variant. Ooh, good damage from the AE half track. Needs to keep on running. Now we've got some rangers. Are they being upgraded with Thompson's? Nope. He sounded two rifle from the squad. Of course, with Captain, that it means three effective infantry squads. He does have bars in the field as well. It may be if he can go for triple bar, he can go for Thompson's, or go for triple bazookas. He has a lot of opportunity to use that uh, Ranger. I always love the triple bazooka Rangers. Just even one of them pose a huge threat to vehicles. Black half track firing away, Captain does fall back. He gun fired away. Gets a good hit there on the flak half track. Coming right, right there. Shrimp Pioneers will burst it a little bit, but he will keep his distance. It's pretty wounded. May just want to fall back to the ambulance. Just get healed on up. He knows he forced back the flak half track and the Shrimp Pioneers right here, so he's lacking some possibility of repairs. But we do have another flak half track rotating around in a very dangerous position. One AT gun shot instead. Rushlon working together in a good position there. Folks in his forward, just aim moving forward. Getting some splash damage where everybody can a little bit be a little bit finicky, but not super reliable. But they're so nice to have. And it looks like the Rock Squad does fall back there. Flat half track or a half track does take a bit of damage. More rifle grenades there, and senior grenade in the garrison. Wagon does go down. <clears throat> what the hell am I meant to do with these recruits? How many green as green can be. All right, you dopes, listen up. There's now healed up units. Ranger is still unupgraded, so still possible you can do something pretty fancy with it. Any sort of weapon uh, you put onto it would make it pretty fancy. Triple bars, Thompsons, or bazookas. Rock grenade fired away. Does get dodged. AT gun could take up the sandbags. Now got this reaction squad backing on off from the Eagle Infantry. Though so keeping close to the Eagle Infantry is not entirely bad, though they're still probably generally not win. But now we've got four of the Fatherland activated there, but he's getting real apart there. He's about to get wiped out. Good chance he will get wiped on out. I actually for the Fatherland may save him there. 
Ranger squad moving up north, trying to hit those for kind of with her, but the five truck does suppress him. Over here, folks, when you're pushing forward with a like now freshly deployed in the field. Rocket grenade fired into the Volkswagen Deers, get a bit of splash onto him. Now the Volkswagen Deers or Reaction Squad does fall back. Good hits there on the A, actually good misses. Mortar does rain a little bit short, we've got a US Mortar for in field. I'm not a big fan of the US Mortar, I think he could have gone for the pack powers instead. Or actuality, he could get the captain back home. Supervise the deployment of the major, and then he can quickly pump out a Sherman tank. Fragmentation grenade there does get dodged. It was a cooked frag as well. Captain does fall back. He can fall back and supervise the major's living quarters, I guess. We do now the Jaeger Life Tree getting some good hits there onto the mortar. Lag does splash a little bit as well. Senior grenade has been thrown. A half track push with four does press down the whole turn deers. Black half track rotating down here as well. Try and gate the rifleman. The rifle squad does fall back there. Like does miss. Yellow infantry, infantry squad does fall back. A or AT gun does fall back. And now we've got the 251 half track rotating around. Rushlon will spot it. And Rushlon squad does actually have a bar along the rifle grenade. Not sure how well that hybrid squad works. At least it's hybrid both being anti infantry. It's not really a hybrid like bazooka and bar. But I think a hybrid in that case is very reasonable. Captain does capture the central VP. Rangers now behind some good heavy cover. The original squad should blow up some sandbags. Or wire in front of the sandbags. OKW Panzer IV now in the build queue. He only has one AT gun. If he really wants to, he could try to point out the jacks and just get a quick hard counter. Just released a major, for action. major now pulling a few. He is deploying out Jackson. Very nice. If he believes he has plenty of anti-infantry, going for a hard, heavy hitter to go against vehicles, not a bad idea. He only has the AT gun at the moment. He can go for some Bazooka Rangers, but maybe for later. Good rifle grenade there. Jaeger infantry, however, can get some pretty good snipes. And yeah, he needs to fall back that rear echelon squad. Possibly gets wiped out here. Skill Prackle does roll a miss there. He does fall back with his two remaining models there. But can refer does get hit there in the EU half track. Frag cooked frag grenade there. Actually, got a full squad wipe. I don't think it's cooked frags. I think that was a regular frag. Yep, PSX is fragmentation grenades. Has a four, now push away forward. IPs can now be pulled in the field. I think one jack is all he needs for anti tank, especially right now. So, probably next move she should go for is probably a full IP. And we've got some major artillery being brought on in. Of course, we need to be versus two, get the improved artillery barrage. And the major is getting ripped apart here. The major may go down. It does go down to the Yiga Lane Street, gets sniped. Jackson to forward, gets a good hit there on in the um, hands of four. A capture point is being overrun. Area secured. Field promotion earned. 
Ranger does take a bit of damage there. The capture point is under attack. Couple rifle grenades there. Does splash one the Obisoft's models. He does have actually three both on Dill's rear echelon, so they both can get the five man. Good damage there onto the Obis of Alton. And everything else is now falling back. When Rear Shalon gets that fifth man, they become a very, very quick unit. 25% increased health and base damage is always very nice to have. It also means their slot weapons get passed around for a little bit longer. Also, I think slot items does the concept of zeal better than the actual zeal upgrades we see in the game and abilities. Both in Couple Heroes 1 and 2, since it just retains a certain level of damage when the weapon's just being passed around. Got another for the following act. He's been using that ability quite a bit. I like it. Doesn't just save up the sector salt all the time, it just actually goes for the ch much cheaper for the bubble land. Does back away from the Jackson smoke coming in from the US mortar, which is a little bit counterproductive when you're trying to take out the Panzer IV there. A good hits there onto the Jackson. Ooh, and the rifle squad gets annihilated. He has plenty of infantry at the moment, so he doesn't really need that rifleman in place. Like now firing a barrage, I think it's gonna be right there. Or nope, somewhere over here. Oops, toss the squad pushing around. Does wipe out the crew of the M1AT gun. Rifle grenade fired, may splash. Nope, scored. I uh, went down the middle of a 710 spot. Got a good amount of damage on the Stream Pioneer. Up north, we do now the AT gun moving around. Bit of damage there on the AT gun with the Yegawa AFJ. It's pretty wounded, so the snipe shots should be pretty effective. Hands forward, trying to stop the captain. Right now, the DP is on favor of the US player by a small margin. It's more of a small margin, decent margin. Good AT gun shots there on the Jackson. He does back on off in time. And if he can always test those rear shalon to help with repairs, and if he'll get that thing quickly repaired on up, that does take out the AT gun. And the mechanical repair there could be claimed. He could stand to get another AT gun. Right in there on the rifleman. What a good day there. He does pick up a bar with his rangers, no Thompsons just yet, so I think he may have picked up triple bar, or he's going to either pick up triple bar. If that infantry does get suppressed. That was a little miss there. Hands forward, straight forward. Good damage there on the rear echelon. Captain pushes way forward. Does catch up to the can with her. And the AT gun will escape on out of there. The OKW player has quite a bit of fuel and manpower. Don't see the mechanized HQ on the field, nor is there half tracks, so he may just want to invest in another Panzer IV. Good hit there onto the AA half track. He does side the blitz on forward. Jackson does retaliate. 
and good. Anything right for grenade there, but he will not be able to destroy it. The Okun player now does steal his opponent's AT gun with some Jaeger light infantry. Gotta say all that garrison. One well placed shot would destroy it entirely. Got some smoke being pulled up with a leg. Bit of splash damage there on the Rangers. I wonder how many uh, bars he picked on up. Just looks like the two. He can they can pick up the third. Looks like I changed. I'm trying to second guess myself. Good for getting over hit there and Jackson hit. Jackson may go down. Has does not go down. Hands of four gets the crew. Yegalai infantry could just high hopping into it and just crawl it away. Just let it keep on crawling. Reverse order. Reverse move back to base. Any distance right now will be good. Oh, some odd reason blue will go into for a panther. I highly disagree with that. He's only fighting against a Jackson. I was hoping for either Panzer Four, just go for a King Tiger. Both would be a good option. Option. Hell, even a Stukas of Foos wouldn't be half bad as well. A Panther, I highly disagree. My grenade fired. Does avoid the bundle grenade. The guy should now about to see four. Rock grenade, he does avoid it. Another four, the follow line has been activated. Very nice. Like it's a decent hit there. Now got the AT gun being spotted by this Vet 3 rear echelon. Ranger does get suppressed and falls back. He has access to fragment uh uh frag grenade, so he has access to the smoke grenade ability. They can fire one of those and either capture the VP. The rifle grenades can fire over and through cover, so they can fire wall from the smoke. Assume they have some sort of spotter. And go squad right there. Does a squad right there in the Eagle Life Tree. Very nice. No, it's not squad. Does force back the rear echelon. Eagle Life Tree catching the central VP now. Tank support is here. Sherman ready. Fresh Sherman Calliope now pull on the field. Jackson now being repaired on up. Another SWS half track on the build queue. He's going for a replacement Volksgrenadiers. I sort of disagree with that. I think a uh, replacement of uh, Jaeger Light Infantry or Obsolescence would be generally better. Obsolescence or Jaeger Light Infantry has what? A target size of 0.75. They all have this pretty much the same health barring versus uh, explosives and other things of that sort. This, uh, against an uh, infantry fire, so they're very reasonably durable compared to Volksgrenadiers. Actually, they're same durability, really. Right from the squad and captain does give us some good heavy cover there. Pants 4 is firing away. Great hit down the rifle squad. 
Both of the squads need to fall back. They're getting ripped apart. Captain started getting wiped on out. Those get wiped on out. Jackson does save the pen. Capture for Kenneth gets wiped on out. Use players are starting to disintegrate a little bit. But now here comes the fly feet to engage the various well, just the old sauce in the moment. Doesn't get a does get a wipe there and takes out Oak Thompson. Takes out the McKenna Warfare there. Now very strong squad from kept that point. The Oak Thompson does drop a LMG, which maybe he could pick that up with the Jaeger Light Infantry. It would be a very powerful weapon for a Vet 5 Jaeger Light Infantry. Jackson does get good in the Vet 3 Black Half Track. Game there straight forward. The Free Restaurant Squad is not going to be wiped up by the people. Good pen there. Do, do have the heave after rounds activated. And Jackson does escape out of there. As for straight forward to the Volts, a half tracks trying to hit the Volts in the ears. The Ocarina player is almost enough conditions for the Sector Assault. Approaching 200 now. Of course, does need 275, so it's actually quite a bit more significant. Need another few minutes more for munitions income. Jackson will be prepared it up. The Russian squads aiding them with repairs. Jaeger Infantry do pick up the MG-34. That will give them massive amounts of fire support and also allows them to wound multiple models pretty quickly, allowing the scope rifle to pick them off. Good hit there onto the Panther. squad now pull on the field i think it would be better to play some sort of asset with his fuel he has two rear echelons for ET infantry support as well i wonder if he's ever got the third bar on this squad doesn't look like it you can see here you can pick that up if i were to click on the rear echelon squad highlighting the same point does not allow him to pick up a weapon so he can pick up extra bars with his rangers he does get a double bazooka ranger Nope, also got a triple bazooka ranger. Very nice. North Panther trick forward. Another US player has a slight BP laid, but that is evening out relatively soon. And now we do have the Sector Assault available for the OPW player. I haven't heard the Calli Calliope fired away anytime recently. That four kills was that was on squad entirely. No damage there. Because of Calliope Rocket Barrage, splashes the Jaeger Lime Tree a little bit. And the Venomoth does avoid the rest of the barrage. Empires fall back as well, just trying to avoid any sort of stray rocket. Rangers three photo from the Ashland squad. Triple Zuko Ranger trying to find something first. Let's see what he finds. Let's go into the flat cap track. Flat cap track does take some good damage. Does back on off immediately. And Jackson does get find a good shot down the Panther. A 
Panther, Pants 4. Good hits there. One more volley bazooka will take him out. Pants 4 does go down. Panther has plenty of health. Hobbs Austin and Yag pound on the build view. I don't think that's really necessary. He's only really fighting against a single Jackson. You can just ignore the Jackson, just focus on uh, fighting the infantry battle rather than trying to fight the vehicle battle. There goes that flak half track as well. And there goes the AA half track as well. Losing the AA half track is actually important because now he is vulnerable to the sector assault. Rocket squad gaining in the central VP. Eagle Infantry does fall back, so does the Rifleman. I got these forces pushed away forward. What? That Rifleman squad was really, Rifleman model was really bugging out. Great grenade there from the Rangers. Obsassin, of course, unupgraded. There are upgrades on the way. Obsassin's bolt action rifles are actually pretty good. In comparison, an unupgraded Ozos and will beat a Vet 3 Rifleman without bars. They do not have maximum range at least. Does avoid that grenade there, throws a bundle. That one too does get avoided. Rangers push before the May I for a cook fragmentation grenade. Good is there from the Jaegerlite infantry. Ripping apart that Ranger squad. Rational squad for four, getting a bit of damage. we are receiving quite a bit of damage. Here comes a Calliope rocket barrage. Rational squad is trying to avoid it. Nice sprint forward to avoid the Calliope. Excellent uh, sprint there. Rational squad does fall back. And now we've got the Rangers push it forward. A capture point is under Looks like attack. just only still equipped with two bars. They're on to the Panther. And now the Ranger squad does fall back. Grim picking down the build queue. Now we do have a, oh, he does cancel the Yag Panther, goes for a full King Tiger, very good. Jackson straight forward, Panther's fully repaired, good hits there on for Jackson, this Jackson may go down. Jackson does go down to the captured M1AT gun. Good hit there onto the Russian squad, does force him back, what drop weapon is this? It is a bazooka. He lost the Bazooka Rangers. The US players are starting to disintegrate a little bit. Try and go for another Jackson. Volkswanders do pick up the bazooka, where it gives you a bit of a taste of the old style Volkswanders when they used to have Panstruck upgrades. And when also Panstruck also uh, did massive AoE damage to infantry units if they get a score or direct hit. And also the battle group HK of the Yag Panzer located within it. And free medics and free forward retreat. Yeah, old OKW players, OKW is very different. Back when the Shum Tiger was also non doctrinal. And the heads of force were doctrinal. Rifle grenade there. Rolls and miss. Oh, 
apply to Rocket Barrage. There is where it's raining on in. That's the respect to Osasun and the, the Ken Woofer. Looks like the reaction squad is probably get wiped on out. Those get wiped on out from the Death 5 year going through the MG34. Rangers are eventually three. This is the double bar quick one. Rangers and reaction squad trying to get to that point for the King Tiger will work from part. We hit there from the Jackson. We lost an infantry unit. They got wiped out. Reaction squad does go down. It does drop a bar. All of those things would love to pick that up. Wait. The Eagle Amateur can pick up two weapons? I suppose their scope rifle does not count as a slot. Does not consume a slot, slot item uh, spot. So that does mean he's allowed to pick up three, uh, pick up two weapons. So now it has a bar M1919 and a scope rifle. That thing will annihilate. But if it starts dropping models, it may be hard to pass around all those weapons. And a good chance they may drop one of the weapons as well. Plus first strike always quite nice to have. Second Jackson go Q4 red. He has some tickets. He has more tickets on his photo, so he can trade tickets for time. Second Jackson will be very useful against the King Tiger and the Panther. There's a lot of AT there. Uh, he needs a bit more anti-infantry, I would say. He's gonna have having trouble with this from the MG34, so an extra Clyde people probably will not hurt. But you have to be very careful two Jacksons versus the heavy cats, the big cats. Good damage there. Ranger squad does get pinned. Fly through Rocket Barrage. Probably going to hit that MG34. Those get some good damage onto the Shroom Piners. Those force back to them, however. Rap squad, just make four, engaging that bazooka, but we are still on, and ate a pretty good hit there from the King Tiger. Rolls a miss there, has prioritized fire turned on, so it's just a miss. We got a new unit ready and on the field. Oh, sorry, I saw your comment. The problem is not the big, about the big cats. The King Tiger does pose a pretty big threat and he'll pretty easily secure that central VP. This one could have the MG34 placed near it so it can just stay locked down. It has heavy cover to utilize there. Structure at this point in time can be very flimsy, especially versus the Clyde Also, the lights at VC5 and the Victor Workers at VC4. The damage there on the rifle squad and that. Right now he's fighting against a good amount of elite infantry as well, so he needs perhaps another Clive. He has another Ranger now on field. The Clive can help him displace those units. Got, have to make sure to get pretty close to range barrage to try to get a wipe. True. Right now the US player just lost quite a bit. He needs more anti infantry and anti vehicle. Jackson still takes some good damage there. Five piece would help out the team of the Pican Whippers. Bundle grenade on the treat. Eh, not successful. Good shot, though. And Sector Assault's now available as well. These guys trying to get a little repairs going. A capture point is being overrun. Oh, Calliope Rocket Barrage somewhere up north does stop the point from being captured, does not stop from being decaptured. Good hits there onto the Panther. Good hits there on the King Tiger. Panther and Opus 4, closing the distance onto the 
Jackson and Sector Assault can brought him in. He's not gonna bring it on in. Couple pens. But the Panther has plenty of health to tango with. The player has taken the lead in VPs. Got the Ranger squad moving down south trying to capture this point. He can utilize cover cover as a build up that he's used once this game. And he deployed a mortar, I think, primarily for even for smoke. I think he should use cover cover more often. It's a combination of off map smoke and a sprint. It's a very powerful ability. And six missions is very spammable for this doctrine since it does not have any big missions sinks. Unless you go for Sherman Tanks and start spamming out white phosphorus. Very spicy smoke. Jackson takes some fire, taking going through a firing line and stuff. Does fall back there, full wipe there. Does not arrive from the squad. And looks like the Ranger down here does fall back. Got splashed a little quite a bit. Didn't lose any models. Could have been from the lag. It is facing that direction. Here comes Calliope. Way up here. Fresh or folks in here do take a bit of damage. They do fall back, but the point does get decaptured once again. But the southern point decaptures only single capture the moment. American crew will be able to catch 80 guns if the uh, Americans will get a chance. Yeah. Yep, he needs to get rid of those 80 guns, that's for sure. It's, that's one reason I believe he needs to get another Calliope just to hit the able to reach it a little bit better. Without it, it's more, he's more of a miracle, most likely. But even, yeah, as mentioned I as, as well, Sector Assault would make it very hard for Jax to push way forward. And he almost have enough munitions for two sector assaults. So he can easily deny an assault from the Jacksons to save his big cats. And or just try to push him out of the game entirely. Got another second Clive in the field. He's gone for the 2-2-2 two -two -two strategy. Got two Rangers, two Jacksons, and two Calliope's. Just needs two Majors and two Ambulances to complete the twos. And get a five of a kind. Or five of a separate kind of twos. Major does fall back there. Good hit there from Kenworfer. And struck free forward. Major could bring in a recon run to help him out spot the AT guns. Try to crush these eight. Uh, and here comes Sector Assault. Try to crush the Panstrike squad, but overall it's unsuccessful. Jackson takes some hits there. Here comes straight from. Good chance that Jackson gets wiped out. Yes, it does. It's some supply piece. That one gets annihilated pretty quickly. And then moving around. The Kenworth pushing forward. That five, the Kenworthur gets another shot there, takes out another Calliope, and that's probably gonna be game. Ranger goes down. Yep, that's probably gonna be game. Jackson firing away. And they can just fall back. No need to sack it. King Tiger has plenty of health. He can push forward. Put it there in the Panther. Gets a pen there. And a great hit there on the Rangers, nearly wiping them out. He does have Spearhead active. And size the falls back be nice to say. Oh, the game has paused, which means the US player has back to the game. This Anne Grade saying, think of watching, and on to the next replay.